Well, it's your weather bug national outlook here and much colder through the rest of February. Probably not what you wanted to hear, right? Yeah, especially after a mild end to last week. Nice to see some milder weather back in here. But old man winter has arrived again. Some fast moving clippers rolling through. But California, you're picking up rain and we'll talk about that through the week ahead. Take a look at temperatures yesterday. 17 Minneapolis to 70 in New Orleans. And our Mardi Gras continues. Fat Tuesday already next Tuesday into March. 84 in Miami. We had some showers and storms yesterday that delayed the Daytona 500. High temperatures from normal today, though, anywhere from, say, 10 to 30 degrees below average. So, again, there is that colder air. Take a look at how cold it was to the far north. Some of the pinks there in the upper Mississippi Valley in the Midwest, sub-zero. And then you factor in the wind, and it feels colder then the actual air temperature, Chicago, the AM wind chill down to zero and teens, even into the central plains. So that Arctic air is pushing the storm track down to the south, kind of seeing some light snow drift in from the northwest, but watching some heavier rain that will be developing here from Texas into the lower Mississippi Valley and the Gulf Coast states over the next several days here. But again, that will be anywhere from maybe an inch to an inch and a half with some thunderstorms. Really keeping an eye on this western area. And the early term through AM Tuesday, snowfall amounts in the highest elevations, 8 to 18 inches. But what's happening here is this moisture will continue to wring itself out. And then the jet stream changes. So watch what happens by midweek here as this next precip band starts to work into California. And we're going to have several waves of precip. The first one through Wednesday, the next one through the end of the week. The ultimate result then will be several inches of precip in California. So although this won't... Uh, Get rid of the drought, we are going to see a big improvement, so that is great news.